you and me again. Thanks for spending this time with me. I have a grain of sugar. You should get a bigger one. Don't know if you can see it. But I've got a grain of sugar in that hand. There's a grain of sugar. This hand, I have a bowl of sugar. You see, the quantity doesn't matter. It is what it is. Sugar is sugar. When it comes to responsibility in our lives, guess what? Sugar is sugar. Responsibility is responsibility. I can't say, hey, you deal with yours, then I'll deal with mine, because of course you have a bigger problem than me. No. Same thing with sin. Sin is sin. I cannot say, oh, but Lord, look at his or hers. Then I'm sure, God, you'll have time for mine. Look at Moses. I call it the Moses syndrome. I used to be in the Moses syndrome. You do all these great and wonderful things for God. You have these wonderful challenges that you overcome. And I mean, Moses rescued people. How many millions of people out of the desert? Took on fear in his voice. And he won. Didn't go into his fullness. He didn't walk in his promised land. He was allowed to look at his promised land. Didn't mess with his salvation. But uh, he had that one bit of responsibility between him and the Father. And that's what he was held accountable to. So for us, sin is sin. Irrespective of how much, we need to make sure that we understand we're going to be held accountable to that. So then we go into the scripture, which is Matthew 7. And it says, do not judge. And criticize and condemn others so that you may not be judged and criticized and condemned yourselves. Now, judge means when you pass a sentence. If you pass a sentence on an observation that somebody is doing or not doing, that is called judging. If I'm changing a car tire and I'm not doing it correctly, and you say, Sean, you don't do it that way. Well, you're not judging me. I can't say, oh, don't judge me. You have not passed sentence. But if you say to me, Sean, you cannot do it that way, you silly fool, you absolute idiot, you passing sentence. You have passed judgment on me. And this is what it says. And we kind of compare. Now, the Bible actually swings it back quite nicely in our direction because it says, do not judge and criticize and condemn others so that you may not be judged and criticized and condemned yourselves. For just as you judge and criticize and condemn others, you will be judged and criticized and condemned and in accordance with the measure you use to deal out to others, it will be dealt again to you. So you go, well, I'm, I've only got, but Lord, just let me show you in case you forgot about, well, the father goes, okay, if you're going to judge them this way, well, let's judge you too. All of a sudden that changes. So when he says don't judge, he actually means it. But then it carries on and says, why do you stare? It doesn't say, it doesn't even say, look. It says, why do you stare from without at the very small particle that is in your brother's eye, but do not become aware of and consider the beam of timber that is in your own eye? <laughs> well, how does that work? Because I thought the father has no favorites. Come on, does he? Well, no, he doesn't. So how, when we look at this, does this now become a log in mine and a splinter in yours? Or a splinter in mine and a log in yours? Well, you see, it's perspective. Because watch. If I now bring that to you, it's a log, isn't it? Check how big it is sitting in your eye. And you can't really see me clearly because you have this log in your eye. You see, if I'm sitting like this, it does obstruct. Well, that means we can't help others. You no, know, you can. You see, but what it does say, how can you, or, now this is the Amplified. So it's Matthew 7, verse 4. Or how can you say to your brother, let me get that tiny particle out of your eye when there is that beam of timber in your own eye? You hypocrite. Verse 5. First get the beam of timber out of your own eye, 
and then you will see clearly to take the tiny particle out of your brother's eye. You see, we are here to help one another. But the Bible is saying, I seriously need to have victory in my life concerning this before I help you with your victory. Because if there's anything that I haven't dealt with, it's going to obstruct my view to help you correctly. So if you're going to come to me with information, you say, Sean, I just want to let you know about so-and-so. My question is going to be, obviously, we're going to sort it out with you first. Once we've overcome that, what is your recommendation as to how we can go help that other person? As to being in your position as to how God has helped you. Because that's exactly why we do make observations, don't we? Because we don't judge, do we? No, we don't. Because we make observations as to how, Father, you want me to assist you in serving your agenda in that person's life. Huh. And the Father says, actually, you know what? It is all about you. So sometimes God's going to use that other person to help us address us first that, oh, hold on, I'll be back. I'm going to first sort it out. Because, you know, it is pretty cool. If I've had victory in my life, then isn't that going to give me more understanding, more empathy, more consideration to be able to help you? Absolutely, without a doubt. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. Father, I want 2020 vision. I want to be clear when I see into other people's lives so that, Father, I can assist them in every single area. Father, please create in me a clean heart so that, Father, out of my clean heart, I am able to go help others. And, Father, in this, I might even understand and have a greater empathy for others. With Father, I'm not going to say, oh, you, this is so easy. Father, when it comes to my life, I know it's not easy. Sometimes it's not even a good day. But I thank you, Father, for this revelation. I thank you, Father, that my victory is in Christ Jesus. And, Father, when I obtain that victory in my life, I can clearly see victory in others. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. So we can sing this song together. I can see clearly now the log has gone. Bam, bam. <laughs> Till next time.